Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified RV inspector and today we're going to be talking about how to clean and protect an RV roof. You know this is an area that a lot of RVers don't really do what they should and stay up with the maintenance and I know that for sure because as an RV inspector We've got to climb up there on those roofs and inspect the roofs. And a lot of RVs that uh, we get up on, we can see that the maintenance has not really been done like it should. But you know, really, roof care is not all that difficult if you have the right products. And uh, there's two big names in this particular industry uh, that I'd like to mention today. And one is Dicor, and if you've been around the RV industry for any length of time, well, you know that Dicor is kind of the standard in roof care products for RVs. But also, Camco is another uh, company that uh, makes roof care products for cleaning and protecting the roofs. And uh, you know, actually, you go on Amazon, there's a lot of reviews for both of these products, both of these brand names, and a lot of people are very happy with the products. Now, for the sake of this video, I can only use one product at, the t at a time. So uh, today it's going to be Dicor. And uh, now let's talk a little bit then about the procedure of using these products. And the first thing we want to talk about is you need to have some kind of way of rinsing off uh, the roof. Uh, first of all, you know, to get rinse it off to begin with and then get all that dirt and grime off as well. And uh, now I just made sure that I had a hose that reached that way and that worked very well for me. Uh, now, the first step is you want to spray your cleaner after you've rinsed the roof, spray the cleaner on. I just had a nice little spray bottle that Dicor provided for me, very simple, very easy. And so I got to the uh, cleaner on the surface. The next step is you need to have a good brush. And uh, I'm going to recommend somewhere between a soft bristle and medium bristle, maybe getting a little bit closer to the medium side uh, to really agitate the roof surface, you know, get that dirt lifted up and off. And uh, once you've done that for a nice little maybe three by three area, uh, then you can take your water and just uh, hose that dirt and grime right over the side of the RV. It's a great idea to have somebody else, if you can, on the side of the RV that has another hose and they're, you know, hosing down all that dirt and grime as it comes. That way it doesn't dry on the side of the RV while you're still working on the roof. But now if you don't have that other person, that's okay because, uh, you know, just go ahead and finish your roof and plan on washing down the sides after that you're done. Now, once you have cleaned the roof, the next step is let it dry, let it dry completely. And uh, then you'll want to use the protectant. And the protectant is super easy to put on. Um, it's just, a, a, again, a spray bottle that uh, Dicor gives you. Spray it right on the surface. And then I use something as simple as a kitchen mop, as you'll see in the videos coming. And uh, all you want is just something that you know, distributes the protectant to evenly on the surface of, of the roof. And if you don't use a kitchen mop, well, you know, anything that's soft that will smooth that uh, protectant uh, over the surface of the roof will do just fine. So that's the procedure. Now let's see how I cleaned and protected my RV roof. Okay, let's take a look at the roof membrane and see what it looks like. And as you can see, it's actually in pretty good shape. There's no real rips or tears in the membrane itself, but there's an accumulation of almost a year's worth of grime and dirt and grit, and that is what has got to go. And especially over here, where the TV antenna was, that's a big one and you got to remember that if you have an antenna like this that folds down and goes up well make sure you put it up before you start cleaning okay so now all we got to do at this point is just go ahead and get started all right so my first step is rinse off the turf okay so that's pretty good don't really need it super wet 
but that's good enough. Okay, well the wind noise got uh, kind of bad in this section of the video, so I'm going to narrate instead. And you can see I've washed the roof, it's nice and wet, and now I'm applying the cleaner on top of it. And uh, spray it liberally, you know, don't overdo, but make sure that you get uh, good coverage. And then you take your good old brush and really start working that cleaner right in there. And by the way, uh, this will work really well not only on the roof membrane, but as you can see also on the dicor sealant uh, areas too. So work it in there if you can. Now don't brush too hard. You don't want to get really, really hard and, uh, and reef on this, but don't be uh, too easy on it either. And as you can see, the, the dirt is lifting up. See it's giving up and it's kind of pooling together with the solution, the liquid there. And you can definitely already begin to see some improvement showing here on the roof. And this is just a few strokes that uh, has been taken to show that. Now once you get the, all the uh, uh, dirt agitated on the roof, the next step is to take that hose and just rinse it right over the side. And the good news is I had Sherry on the ground uh, with another hose and she's rinsing it down the side to avoid uh, having anything dry, you know, this dirt dry on the side of the RV as it's going down while I'm working on the roof. Okay, so let's take a look at the roof and see how it looks here. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm actually pretty happy with this. It's a lot better than it was, a lot cleaner. Uh, now, it's not perfect, you know, like for instance right here where the uh, TV antenna was laying down on the roof. Well, there's still a few marks there and they're just not going to come up. I worked and worked. They don't come up. Uh, there's other scuff marks and things like that, you know. Uh, that happens because of tree branches, you know, that rub against the top up, you know, service technicians when they come up here, maybe they're dragging some of their equipment along. There's just, you can't get it perfect. And especially if it's a white roof, it's going to show up almost anything that's an imperfection. But, you know, overall, I'm actually very pleased with the results of the Dicor cleaner. So now it's time to put on the protectant. Well, it's time now to protect the roof. So we're going to use, again, the Dicor Roof Guard UV Protectant. And uh, I'm going to put that down with just a regular old uh, kitchen mop here. You know, nothing fancy. All you really want is just something that's going to spread it out evenly on the surface of the roof. Uh, you know, you don't want to, again, put too much on at one time, but then again, you don't want to put too little. You want to uh, make sure you have good coverage. So, let's go ahead and do it and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, it goes on nice and smooth, no, no big problems here that I'm encountering. Well, there's my roof, uh, all cleaned and protected. Like I said before, yeah, there's, it's not perfect. There are definitely a few little uh, scuffs here and there, but nothing major. And uh, now I'm all set for another year. Well, that's how I cleaned and protected my RV roof. But now, let's take a few minutes here and talk about a few extra things after that, uh, those videos uh, to kind of follow up a little bit on some important points. And the number one point I want to make is, please be safety conscious when you're getting on an RV roof. And you know, if you feel unstable or for any reason you feel that it's a danger to you to be on an RV roof, well, maybe this is a project 
that you need to have someone else do for you. But be sure to be safe and uh, take all precautions necessary to do that. Now, it, it also worked well for me uh, to go up my roof ladder and then start at the other end, you know, at the front. In fact, that's where the videos were that you saw and then work my way back to the ladder. It just seemed very convenient, at least it worked that way for me. The next thing I want to mention is don't expect perfection. You know, I think as you can see, uh, there were still some marks on the roof. Uh, you're not gonna get some of those things out. I mean, roofs take a beating on RVs from all sorts of things. So, you know, don't expect absolute perfection. Uh, some roofing materials actually clean up better than others do too. But the main thing you want to focus on is getting that dirt and grime off the roof. You know, some scuff marks and, and those kinds of things, well, you know, they're not going to be a big issue for you, but you want to get the dirt and grime off of there on a regular basis. Now, the other thing I want to mention is that it does take a little bit of elbow grease, you know. Um, so don't expect uh, the cleaning part of it to be quite as easy as the protecting part of it. You know, you got to kind of get on that brush a little bit and get in there to, to get that uh, surface really agitated and get the, the dirt and grime off of it. So just be aware of that. Uh, the next thing is the protectant. The protectant itself, it's a UV protectant, which means uh, what it's really trying to do is to provide a barrier against the ultraviolet rays of the sun. You see, that's really what does most of the damage to an RV roof is, you know, it's exposed to the sun on a regular basis when it's outside. So that over the course of time just you know, wears down that uh, roofing material and shortens its life. The protectant goes on clear, at least the one from Dicor did. Uh, so you're not going to see a lot of difference in the roof itself uh, when you apply the protectant. But, you know, be assured it's doing its job. It's not going to change the look of the roof, but uh, it's going to be doing a good job for you while it's on there. Now, the other point we want to make is uh, this kind of routine should be done at least annually. You know, many people suggest also semi-annually, and if you can, that's very good. But uh, at least annually, you should be up there uh, getting that dirt and grime off your roof and getting it protected again for the next RVing season. Now, as far as how much I actually used, you know, I was surprised. Um, the bottle that uh, I got for the cleaner and the protectant both said uh, that it would cover a 40-foot uh, RV roof. And you know what? I, I have to say they're correct. When I was on Amazon reading the reviews on these, uh, there's a lot of people talking about putting a gallon or more of uh, cleaner and protectant on their roof, and, and they didn't even have a 40-footer. So I don't know what they were doing, but the, the reality is, you know, those that, that quart spray bottle, it works very good. Uh, for me, it did uh, a, a really good job uh, and I had a little left over in each bottle. So that's good to know. Now, a lot will depend on how much your RV sits out in the sun, how much it's ex exposed to the elements as to how often you're going to do this. Uh, so the key is keep an eye on your RV roof, you know? I know that it's kind of, it's up there, it's not right in your line of sight, so it's so easy to kind of forget about that roof up there. But boy, that roof is one of the most important parts of your RV. I can't tell you how many serious issues and problems people begin to have with their RV when the roof begins to break down or have problems and issues and begins to leak. You're going to get all sorts of problems. So, you know, what I'm suggesting is, you know, keep an eye on that roof and uh, if it needs, uh, if it's kind of getting pretty dirty and grimy at some point through the year, well, maybe it's not gonna last to the annual maintenance. Get up there and get that taken care of as soon as you can. Well, you know, for the money that you invest in roof care, and it really was not a lot that I put into it, um, I do have to say that it's going to pay you back many, many, times over in extending the life of your RV roof and therefore saving you a lot of money. 
Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.